Hello and welcome to this product update video from Bowers. Now I'm sure you're all very familiar with the famous Bowers three-point ball gauging system, micron repeatability, quick and easy to use and we don't need the skill of the operator to get a micron repeatable measurement. You may also be aware of our ability to make application specific versions of these standard Bowers heads. Um, and to make things easier, we've taken some of the standard, more uh, popular applications like threads, grooves, uh, deep bore measurements, spline, internal splines, etc. And we've turned them into standard um, products, standard heads, available from stock so that they're available to you as and when the application arises. And today, I want to talk to you about our XT thread heads. So here, we've got the Bowers XT um, ball gauging system, standard system, the standard pistol grip, in this case number three, which will cover any head from 20 millimeters up to 100 or three quarters of an inch up to four inches. But in this case, I've got an XT thread head screwed on here. And the only difference here is the thread anvil profile. So we've got a profile here that's designed to engage with the thread and measure the pitch diameter or effective diameter. Setting the gauge is exactly the same as with a regular XT, except we're gonna use a thread ring gauge instead of a plain ring gauge. In this case, I've got the pitch diameter engraved on the ring gauge. I've already set that into my memory. So I'm gonna set that. 21989 is our effective diameter. There we go, repeating to a micron. And now we're ready to go and measure our component threads and we get a very quick and easy measurement by retracting the anvils using the pistol grip and straight into the thread. So let's just consider a thread milling application. Very often, in order to gauge threads, companies are using the traditional attribute style gauging, um, go, no go, solid plug thread gauges. So let's just imagine that process if we're thread milling. The operator has to set up his um, thread milling machine. He's using um, thread mill inserts. Um, and he doesn't know yet the state of the wear on these cutters or, um, or the ability of the machine tool. So he's gonna aim for bottom limit, but he's gonna aim for a, um, a small size because if we go too big and that, and that go and no go both go in, we've scrapped the part. So he runs the machine, generates the thread, stops the machine, puts the go end in. Yep, that goes in, has to unscrew it. And then he puts the no go end in. And if that goes in as well, we scrap the part. So, to be safe, that's a disaster obviously, so to be safe he will always tend to air to a small size, a safe size. So perhaps the go end goes in, but perhaps it doesn't, perhaps he's gone too small. Decide a small cut to put on, a guess in effect, take another cut, stop the machine, try that, get that, that gauge in again, both ends. It's a long and, and um, tiresome process, it's wearing the gauge out all the time, and this requires um, a large inventory of thread plug gauges that have to be kept in calibration. That's a very specialized calibration process, that, so that means it's, it's usually got to be sent to a specialist calibration house. There's a cost involved in that. And every time that you screw these gauges in and out, you're wearing them out. So at, from, from time to time, they need to be replaced as well. Now let's think, run that same scenario through with the Bowers uh, solution. First of all, we've got a measuring range on this head. So I can measure any diameter of thread, providing it's this pitch, that's within the head's measuring range. But more importantly, the pistol grip and the head's range allows me to retract the anvils and get that into the diameter very easily and quickly. So I can deliberately set my thread milling setup to a small size knowing that I'm, I'm not going to be at the correct size yet, very safe, but because I can now put a number on this, I can put a size on it, I can read my effective diameter 
first go and then I can calculate exactly the offset that I need to enter into the machine tool to hit the bottom limit of that um, thread tolerance and get, um, get there the first time. So it's quicker. I'm not screwing gauges in and out. I'm not guessing at, at, at uh, machine offsets and potentially not making mistakes and scrapping parts. Using the Bluetooth function and the free application that you can download from the AppScot store, you can see that this gauge is connected to my app. I've got it running on my phone. You can run it on your tablet, um, or we can have other versions of this software running on PCs. Um, and I've got a live display, but that also allows me to send the data and capture that measurement so that we can then measure the process capability. We can use this data to understand how well we are achieving our target effective diameter or pitch diameter. How good is this machine tool compared to that machine tool? So we improve our um, manufacturing efficiencies. So if you're using thread plug gauges or any other um, form of attribute gauge, a pass fail style gauge, Think about the cost of managing those gauges, keeping them in calibration and replacement of those gauges as they wear out regularly. And also think about the advantages um, of knowing the size that you're actually achieving and how close to target that was. Understand your process capability. When you've looked at it, give Bowers a call. Ask them to, to quote for a Bowers system and let's see how quickly we can make that payback for you. Thanks for watching.